Today we are going to uh, study consonant plus epsilon pronunciation practice, and we start from the uh, zeta epsilon. Zeta epsilon. So how do you pronounce zeta epsilon? G G G. So English translate yoke, pair of balances. So G, G goes, G goes, G goes, G goes means yolk and pair of balances. Uh, let's go to Matthew eleven twenty nine that show G goes. Eleven twenty nine. Okay. Let's read it together. Eleven twenty nine. Uh, start from twenty eight. Come to me, all you who labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. So verse 29, Matthew 11, 29 said, Take my yoke. Take my yoke. You see here the original text. Arate ton jigon, which is? Jigos, Jigon Mu, Epumas, Kai Matete, Apemu. So, take the yoke. Who's yoke? My yoke. My yoke. Epumas, on your living. On your living. So, on you. Epi is the connection relationship so take my yoke on you and then what matete learn learn from me learn from me and when we look at the 28 come to me or you who labor and are heavy laden right heavy laden so which means because of we have a heavy laden so people who got the heavy laden they will definitely come to Christos Jesus right so that's why I take my yoke on you upon you and learn from me so why do they have a heavy laden and Christos Jesus learn from me because they could not understand the word of God. They learn to understand the Bible, to become the children of God. So they have been learning before they meet Christos Jesus, right? And they learn for their church, which is what? Wilderness, right? And fifth day church, canon church. And sixth day, Christos Jesus is born. And crucified, resurrected, and present. Emmanuel status, right? God is with me, right? God is hide inside me. So before we met the Christos Jesus on sixth day, we've been learned the Bible. Fourth day church and fifth day church. But that gives me what? 28 says? Heavy, heavy laden. Heavy laden. Uh, let's go to the uh, heavy laden. What kind of heavy laden is talking here? Uh, it showed the uh, Matthew 23 verse 4. And start from uh, 23 1 let's read together then Jesus spoke to the multitude 
and to his disciple. It, it showed to right disciple and multitude. Verse two, saying, <coughs> the scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat, which means they are teaching what the law, the law, which means Old Testament, right? Mm -hmm. Because the law is given through God at the mountain Sinai to the Moses and Moses bring the law, God's law and proclaim to the Israelite, isn't it? So that happened when? The fourth day church, wilderness church, right? So those are scribes and Pharisee, they are teaching the law of God to sit in Moses' seat, which means they are preaching, proclaiming about the Bible, the word of God. So they can live by the word of God. So they become children of God. So they are saved. And verse 3, therefore, so whatever they tell you, who are they? The scribes and Pharisees who's teaching the law of God, who's teaching the Bible. So whatever they tell you to observe, that observe and do, but do not do according to their work for they say and do not do for they bind heavy burden right there so those are bible teacher who doesn't know the salvation process and fourth day fifth day leaders who teach the bible who never had the experience to learn bible greek and hebrew they only rely on english bible and then they are teaching in the Moses seat, who teaching the law of God. And then the blind leads the blind, Christos Jesus says, right? So those leaders doesn't understand, does not clearly understand the Bible, but they are in the position to teach. So they teach. So that gives the result to what? Heavy burden. Why? Because their teaching is the man's tradition or God's commandment. So they use the Bible and teach the Bible in as a man's lesson, man's tradition. So last week when we talking about Matthew chapter 25, right? We were talking about loving. Have them drink, put them on, right? And then we were talking, even if we understand that those kind of biblical verses as a as a moral, as a moral level, even unbeliever can do more than that the Christian does. So we were mentioned about that. Same things here. Using the Bible and teaching the Bible as a man's lesson instead of God's commandment. Because those leaders does not fully understand the Bible. Does not accept. Does not accept the Christos Jesus, which means the Bible still closed book to those people. That's why on Romans chapter 10 says, "Whoever call on the name of the Lord will be saved." How can we call without belief? How can we believe without listening, hearing? How can we hear without a preacher who sent by <coughs> Christos Jesus? So we know those preacher who sent by Christos Jesus or who sent by someone else. So those preacher who's listening, learning from those pe preacher who got blind, so blind leads the blind. They give you heavy laden. That's why here, Jigos, Jigos says, go back to 11 again, chapter 11, 29, Matthew. Jigos, take my yoke upon you. Why? Because all you who labor are heavy laden. So far, you learn the Bible, not as the God's commandment, but as the man's lesson. And keep the Bible man's tradition. Yes? Um, what do yoke means in there? Is that the word of God? The yoke? Mm -hmm. 
yolk is the jigos, we just say that. And then yolk <coughs> is when you hold the ground. You know, you put the yolk on the animal. Okay. That is the yolk. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Take my yolk. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. That controls the... Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And, uh, you know, this yolk concept is, comes from the Hebrew word. The first letter of alphabet in Hebrew is Alep. Alep. Yeah, so yeah. Alep, this is Alep, mm -hmm. which is an ox head, picture mm -hmm. of Alep, representing strength and power from the work performed by the animal. The pictograph, this ox head, also represents a chief or other leader. When two oxen are yoked together, mm -hmm. okay, for pulling a wagon mm -hmm. or plow, Okay. On the image, you see those two cow mm -hmm. or two animal put the yoke together, yeah. and then oh, yeah. the yeah. farmer is in the back, here, yeah, here, yeah. moving forward, moving forward, and then they plow the land, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's the pulling a wagon or plow. One is the older and more experienced. Right. One who leads the other mm -hmm. within the clan, tribe, or family. The chief or father is seen as the elder who is yoked to the other as the leader and teacher. But Jigos also says pair of balances, right? Yeah. When you go to the courthouse, you might see the one stature and then cover the eyes, those are female, right? Yeah. And then you have the balances, right? Mm -hmm. So when you yoke together, as it says here, as it said here, when two oxen are yoked together, so one is the older, more experienced. Okay? On the sixth day, you meet the Christos Jesus. That's why Christos Jesus says, take my yoke. So it will not fit perfectly in the beginning until you have the full knowledge of Christos Jesus. That time the balance will be balanced. But initially, it is not balanced. Balance of, right? It is not balanced. The pair of balances. Okay? So, as you learn from the Christos Jesus, okay, then you will grow, 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 grow. Then you become the what? Co worker. Co worker. Let's go to that place that says co worker, okay? It is on the Corinthian. Let's just, let's go there. Uh, First Corinthians three nine. Let's look at together. For we are God's fellow <coughs> workers. You are God's field. You are God's yeah. building. Okay. So shun ergos. Shin ergos. Shin means together. Ko ergos. Labor together. Shin ergos. Okay. So why Christos Jesus says, come take my yoke and learn from me? He wants to, he wants you to become a what? Co worker. Pulling the wagon together. Plow the land. That's why when we go to the Matthew chapter 13, the seed is what? Sons of kingdom. Okay? Then seed is what? Word of God. So sons of kingdom, the son has to be scattered into your field, which means into your heart. Then it turns out four different cases, right? They hear, heard the word of God. And then the seed fell on where? Wayside. Okay? And then seed fell on? stony place and seed fell on thorn seed fell on good ground so every case they hear the word of god but depends on what kind of field you are what kind of field you are okay so unless you become the good ground you cannot produce 104th 64th 34th that's why it is very critical how we accept the word of God. That's why the Hebrew says, when you hear the voice of the word of God, do not harden your heart. And fear 
you do not enter the rest. Because what happened on wilderness church on fourth day? They are at the wilderness. They receive the law of God from through Moses. And then they start complaining. And they are missing the life in Egypt. So all first generation, they cannot enter the Canaan at all. Same thing say that. So if you feel heavy laden, if you don't know, if you do not fully understand the word of God, you don't know how to become the children of God, then Christos Jesus, he is the way. He is the truth. He is the life. So until you meet the Christos Jesus, until you meet the preacher who has hrema, okay? So you've been studied so far logos, but hrema is the explanation word of God. That's why Romans chapter 10 says you have to hear. That doesn't say you have to read the Bible. You can read the Bible, but it is logos. The logos has to be explained through the mouth of God, who has the mouth of God, that preacher who sent by Christos Jesus. So that's why we are God's fellow worker. Here say that. So when we go to the Philippians 4, 3 or so, same thing say that. Let's go to Philippians chapter 4, verse 3. And I urge you also, true companion, help those women who labored with me. Who labored with me is the same. Who labored with me. She, Jigos, yoke fellow. Jigos together, right? Yoke together. Okay. And then, Shinateleo, labor together. Okay. And then, Shin Lambano, Lambano, take together. So, help those women who labor with me in the gospel with Clement or so and the rest of my fellow worker. Fellow worker, co-workers, work together. Whose names are in the book of life. So, you learn from the Christos Jesus and to become the Seventh-day Apostle, to become a preacher, to proclaim the word of God, then your name is in the book of life. That is our goal. That is our goal. Then without having a knowledge of Bible, how can we get there? That's why Jigos, blind leads blind, get out of that place and find looking for, asking for, knocking for, to learn from Christos Jesus. Take my yoke, because Jesus is going to give you yoke. Yeah, it will not fit to you when he gave you his yoke to you, because that is for adult man, not for the young baby. So it will be like this, not balanced, right? But as you learn from Christos Jesus day by day, okay, you will grow, and then once you become adult, that is what? Ephesians chapter 4, verse 12, 13 says, Perfect man who grow up to the full stature of the Christos Jesus, not anymore baby, right? So then they can yoke together with who? Christos Jesus. That's the Jigos, yoke. Let's go to the next word. Leaven, Leaven, G, Me, G, Me, G, Me, G, Me is Leaven. So the Leaven show in the uh, Matthew sixteen six. Matthew sixteen six to twelve. Let's start from 6. Then Jesus said to them, Take heed and beware of the leaven of the Pharisees and Sadducees. Leaven. Leaven here. Jime. Right? Jime. Jime. Leaven. Jime. Verse 7. 
and they reason among themselves saying it is because we have taken no bread but Jesus being aware of it said to them oh you of little faith why do you reason among yourselves because you have brought no bread do you not yet understand or remember the five loaves of the five thousand and how many baskets you took up nor the seven loaves of four thousand and how many large baskets you took up how is it you do not understand that i did not speak to you concerning bread but to be aware of the living of the Paris sea and sadducees then they understood that he did not tell them be beware of the living of bread but of the doctrine of the Pharisees and sadducees so the living is based upon this verse living is what doctrine doctrine is the living that's what be aware be aware who you are learning from be aware who are you listening from like we just learned from the jigos right okay so that is the listener's responsibility not preacher's responsibility okay as you know in 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 our uh, school you are the part of the stu uh, teacher too so we have a teacher from the what kindergarten or daycare up to what college right up to become the doctor's degree program or whatever case may be you will meet a lot of different teachers and professors whatever name it is anyhow overall they are teaching the knowledge okay so at church the teacher teaching the God's knowledge but in education system they are teaching the world knowledge whatever you choose one major you are in okay so you will meet a lot of different teacher some teacher you will like it some teacher you probably hate it some teacher give you a grade some teacher give you f grade whatever case may be right so that's how it goes same thing here, like I just mentioned, Perry C and Sadu C, the Liban, G, G, Me, G, Me, G, Me, Liban, is their lesson, their teaching, their doctrine. So we have to have a discernment. But God promised us what? Whoever inquire and looking for. And then He promised us, He will meet you finally, right? That's why we come up to this level to learn Bible, Greek, and Hebrew. Because we were looking for, we were searching for, we want to know, understand the Bible. So, once we get this level, so God promised us, He will let us know clearly those processing for salvation. So that's the Liban, right? Liban is the doctrine, lesson okay let's go to one more place first corinthians 5 6 talking about jimmy five six here your glorifying is not good do you not know that a little leaven leavens the whole lump Therefore, purge out the old leaven, that you may be a new lump, since you truly are unleavened. For indeed Christ, our Passover, was a sacrifice for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast, not with old leaven, nor with the leaven of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. So leaven. So based upon this, compare what we just saw from the Matthew chapter 16. So what is the old living? Hmm? Perisi and Sadducees doctrine, right? Which is, they are teaching the word of God as a man's lesson, man's doctrine, man's tradition. That's why Bible has to understand through the Bible. But they are using the Bible. Okay, last week we, we were talking about chapter 25. Oh, to loving is to provide something who needs, 
Even unbeliever can do that. Even unbeliever can do more than that. But is the Bible is a moral book? Bible is the book talking about eternal life, spiritual life. Bible is talking about Christos Jesus. But Pharisee, Sadducees, fourth day and fifth day, pastor, elder, whoever, Bible teachers, they are using the Bible as a men's lesson, men's tradition. Put the heavy laden to the members. That's what Christos Jesus says. You heavy laden? Come, learn from me. Learn from me. Take my yoke. I will let you understand. I will let you focus and concentrate how to become a kingdom of God. How to become a sons of kingdom. So that's the leaven. So who is the leaven? Unleavened bread. Christos Jesus is unleavened bread based upon this, right? For indeed Christ, our Passover, was sacrificed for us. But with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth, that is Christos Jesus. That's why Christos Jesus says, I am the living bread. In my flesh, drink my blood. So we have to eat that lesson, right? We have to eat that doctrine, right? Because blindness leads the blind. They don't know where to take. Those leaders, they have no understand. They just do their own job. Because they do that job for their living. So leaven, okay? Next word. To cause to leaven, okay? To cause to leaven. This is cause to leaven. Uh, it's a ferment. Ferment. That means ferment. How do you pronounce this word? Jeta, Ypsilon. Mi, Omicron, Omega. So Omicron, Omega is both of the O sound, right? O sound. So G, Mo, G, Mo, Mo. Both of them is O, right? O, Omicron, O, Omega is O, but just different syllable. O, O, G, Mo, O, G, Mo. Right? You can go all day long as long as you breathe. You can breathe out, right? G mo, right? Uh, G mo, yeah, G mo. On that one because I didn't okay. know it was G O Omega. So G mo show on the First uh, Corinthians five six. So we just read it actually uh, along with the uh, G me. So same thing here as you know here the little leaven leavens the whole lump right do you not know that a little leaven leavens the whole lump so you see here g me and then g mo so g me is the noun feminine singular g me right and then g mo is verb 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 that's why Leaven is the noun, but leavens is verb. Leaven, leavens, which is to cause to leaven or ferment. Ferment. Okay? Because when you make a bread, you have to put the what? Leaven to become B, right? Mm -hmm. There is a leavens, leavens, gmo, gmo. Next. Let's go to the next line. <coughs> theta, Ypsilon. Theta, Ypsilon. So, T. 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 Theta is TH sound. Ypsilon is V. So, T. T. Daughter. T. Ga. Ter. T. Ga. Ter. T. Ga. Ter. Digater. Digater is daughter. Do you remember the son that we learned before? Son, this is daughter. Son is Pios. Pios. Pios is son. And daughter showing in the Act 217. Um, 
let's read uh, from 16 but this is what was spoken by the prophet Joel and it shall come to pass in the last days that say God that I will pour out of my spirit on all flesh your sons and your daughters shall prophesy your young men shall see visions your old men shall dream dreams and on my men servants and on my maid servants I will pour out my spirit in those days and they shall prophesy so this one is quoted from the uh, Joel the Old Testament so look at the daughter here to 17 you see daughter here Digatel here right Digatel Digatel and then the sun should be the below right oh okay sun is right there Pios Pios so sun is Pios daughter is Digatel Digatel young man young man Neaniskos Neaniskos and then the you see the they translate old man presbyteros presbyteros is it familiar to you in English presbyterian no, so that's a presbyteros which oh. means elder okay presbyteros okay. so Neaniskos young man elders presbyteros presbyteros and then Dugater, daughter, and then Pios, son. Okay. So the God will pour out of my spirit on all flesh. My spirit, my spirit. Do you remember uh, when we are uh, learning the uh, Karema? John chapter 6, verse 66 says what? So Hrema, talking about Hrema, right? Hrema is spirit. Hrema is life. So pour out of my spirit on all flesh. What does that mean? I will pour my Hrema to you. Explanation to you. Okay? That's why without knowing the Bible, when we say spirit, oh, they are feeling like, oh, oh something is supernatural type of the uh, power or something. Okay, but spirit is pneuma. Spirit is pneuma. Pneuma is the neural now. Okay, we didn't learn the uh, the the gender concept yet, but it is on my uh, YouTube my video because the uh, the Monday student he already learned the uh, gender concept. The neural concept is a mediator concept. Okay, and then unify men and masculine and female. So mediator concept, okay? So the spirit is neuter, neuter, okay? Pneuma is neuter singular. So pneuma is the mediator, okay? Between who? Between the preacher to the matetes, learner, disciple. Between the Christos and between the disciple. It communicates through what? Spirit, neuter, mediator. Okay, if you turn the channel something on the TV, okay, let's say you want to watch CNN news. Let's say, for example, there is channel 10. If you put the channel 9, can you accept the CNN news through the air? No, right? So that's the neuter, neuter, mediator, communication channel. Okay, so that's a pneuma, pneuma. So pneuma is hrema. Hrema is also neuter. Okay. That is a neuter. But logos is masculine. So that's why to understand the uh, gender is very important. That is on my video clip in the YouTube. You can you can uh, you can learn the uh, previous. So digater is daughter. Uh, next one is gate, gate, thi, ra, thi, ra, ra, ro, 
alpha r a sound theta 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 is gate what gate ship's gate we know that right theta is ship's gate let's go to john chapter chapter 10 verse 1 Most assuredly, I say to you, he who does not enter the shipboard by the door, but climb up some other way, the same is thief and a robber. But he who enters by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. To him the doorkeeper opens, and the sheep hears his voice, and he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out. But when he bring out his own sheep, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, and they know his voice. So here, the door. The door is diatestiras. Tira is door, gate. So what gate? The ship's gate, right? Ship's gate. That's why if you look at the uh, tabernacle here, so ship's door is the first entrance here, which is Tira. Hebrew pronounced this gate is Shar. Shar. So you have a you have a gate. So this gate is starting your salvation processing, right? Without getting to this gate, most of human beings' life, they don't even try to look for this gate. They just spend their time and then go on their life okay only people who are looking for searching for inquiring they will find ship store this gate and then you have another one here you have another one this is not the gate this is the uh, the curtain veil we know that so we call this is a tira this one pule this one doesn't have a Greek word this one only have a Hebrew word the let then let. So salvation is processing is finished where? Here, the most holy place. So ship store is the starting point. Okay? So starting point is Dira. But it is not by the door, right? Dia is not by. Dia is through. Mm. Through the door. Through the door. Okay? And then the, I was uh, speaking about the uh, the ship ship is pro baton pro baton okay pro means for for front baton is walk so ship is never go back never look back ship is the one who keep following the shepherd look forward okay but when we read uh, matthew chapter 13 those wayside, stony place, stone. Okay? They are worried about world matter, all kind of stuff, right? Because the world will not release you unless you follow the shepherd. They're going to shake on you, which is the wind of this world, wind of doctrine, right? So like I just mentioned uh, about the perfect man, it says about that, about the babe. Ephesians chapter 4 11 and he himself gave some to be apostle some prophet some evangelist and some pastor and teacher when you see here pastor it is poiman actually poiman poiman they call the pastor poiman is the shepherd okay shepherd so why, why we have those people who have the mouth of God? Because for the equipping of the saints for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ. 13. Till we all come to the unity of the faith and of the knowledge, right? Faith and knowledge has to be unified. Okay? So unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God to a Perfect man, aner, aner, perfect husband, perfect man, okay? To the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. So who can be called as a perfect man? Like here it says, apostle, prophet, evangelist, 
pastors, teachers, those people who has a mouth of God, grandma, okay? And verse 14 is talking about the children, that we should no longer be children. So what's the status of children? They are tossed to and fro and carry about with every wind of doctrine. Where is this doctrine comes from? Pharisees are to see who's sitting on the Moses seat and teaching you to preaching the Bible and to keep as a what? Man's tradition or God's, God's commandment? God's commandment or man's lesson? Man's yes. lesson. yes, obviously, right? <laughs> so those children, they are tossed to and fro and carried about every wind of doctrine. Liban, Liban, the lesson, doctrine of Pharisees are to see who sit it on the Moses seat. So every wind of doctrine by the trickery of man, because they are using the Bible as man's lesson in the cunning craftiness of disciple plotting. 15. But speaking the truth in law may grow up in all things into him who is the head Christ. So we can do what? Jigos. Take a yoke. Learn from me. So become an adult. Perfect man. To grow up to the head who is Christ. So we can be a what? Co-worker. Let's plow the land together. And have 104th and 64th and then 34th of the uh, the. The fruit. That fruit is what? Fruit for eternal life. Not fruit for eternal everlasting. Um, yes. And 16 says, From whom the whole body joined and knit together by what every joint supplies according to the effective working by which every part does its share causes growth of the body for the edifying of itself in love. So that's the between the children and a perfect man. So you don't want to stay as a babe and children forever. Okay. So that is the probaton, like I said, probaton is what? Keep moving forward, moving forward, never look back. back. A baby is tossed to and fro, right? So go back to that chapter 10 again. The gate is, door is, dira, dira. And then probaton, 4263. I would like to show you the dictionary, 4263. 4263, strong number. Probaton, something that walk forward right mm -hmm. forward walk forward and then probino to walk it comes from the verb probino is to walk forward and compound word pro is for before for in front bino is basis to pace to walk so walk front walk forward that is the ship what about the boat that we learned last week chapter 20 Matthew 25 they go wh wherever they want to go they don't care they do whatever they want to do and they said I love God but they don't know what the loving means right mm -hmm. uh, next word gate warden D D, next one, Ro, Ross, Diroros, 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 Diroros. He showed the same uh, Matthew chapter 10, the, the one we just see, right? And then Diroros, you see, to him the doorkeeper opens, right? And the sheep hear his voice, he calls his own sheep by name, leads them out. Diroros, Diroros, Diroros. So New King James translate as doorkeepers. Doorkeepers. Mm -hmm. That's the Tiroros. Let's move to the next line. Kappa Wipsilon. Kappa Wipsilon line. So Kappa pronounced Wipsilon. 
we so put together we we roundabout the word roundabout we quicklo 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 roundabout um, it showed you a mark 3 334 let's go Mark 334 and he look around uh, let's look at the uh, uh, let's read before um, 31 start from 31 then his brother and his mother came and standing outside they sent to him calling him so him is the christos jesus and brother and mother came right and standing outside and 32 and a multitude was sitting around him and they said to him look your mother your brothers are outside seeking you 33 but he answered them saying who is my mother or my brothers 34 and he looked around in a circle at those who sat about him and said here are my mother and my brothers 35 for whoever does the will of god is my brother and my sister and mother so can you see kuklo here kuklo right here right kuklo and piklo kuklo Piclo. Okay. So here it says look around, right? Look around. Roundabout, right? Roundabout. In a circle. Those who said uh, said about him and said said about him, about him, piccolo, around him, right? Mm -hmm. Round about him. Here are my mother and my brothers. So that reminds us the uh, John chapter one, right? John chapter one. What is John chapter 1 says? How can we become a children of God? John chapter 1. Verse 12, right? 1 12. But as many as received him. So we learn it is not received, right? Lambano, right? Take him, right? Not just receiving passively, right? So as long as Lambano him, take him. To them he gave the right. He gave the authority to become children of God to those who believe in his name. <coughs> 13 <coughs> who were born not of blood nor of the will of the flesh nor of the will of man but of God so here talking about who's my brother mother and brother sisters whoever does will of God not will of man not of the flesh not of the blood so physical relationship we start we came into this world through physical relationship but we have to born above above and not then and not then john chapter 4 chapter 3 right nicotemos we already learned that how can i born again <coughs> but english translate again born again but it is not again born through above and not then from above from above okay so same thing who were born not of blood nor of the will of flesh nor of the will of man that is what born from below born through the earth <coughs> we have to born through the heaven <coughs> which is the will of will of god so how can we born again through the word of god that's what it says right mm -hmm. so whoever does the will of god is my brother <coughs> my sister my mother christos jesus says okay so that is what spiritual family right mm -hmm. so physical family we wish i wish <coughs> physical relationship turn into spiritual relationship so if one of our family member mm -hmm. doesn't have this kind of concept we need to pray and we need to recommend we need to provide some help and support when we go to the uh, first peter 
Where's Peter? It says also here, having been born again, right? Having been born again. Again, born through above. Above. Spiritual. Not of corruptible seed, but incorruptible. Through the word of God, which lives and abides forever. Right? So you are born again through what? Through the word of God. Through the word of God, which is Logos. Logos. Okay? You born again in corruptible seed, that is word of God, that is Logos. Okay? But look at the, uh, uh, let's keep reading 24. Because all flesh is as grass, and all the glory of man as the flower of the grass, the grass withers and its flower falls away, but the word of the Lord, look at the word here. Rema. Rema. Explanation of the word. Okay? So the word of the Lord, Rema curious, endures forever. What endures forever? Rema of the Lord. Now this is a word. This is a word. The word. Rema. Again. Rema. Rema. Which by the gospel was preached to you. So the Rema is comes from preacher who sent by Christos Jesus. That explanation you have to hear in order to understanding the Bible, in order to grow up to the fullness of Christos Jesus to become perfect man. That is start from Jigos. Take yoke, take my yoke, and let's go together as what? Probaton. Look forward, do not go back, not like a goat, but like a probaton, sheep. And of the blood of the will of man is then what? There is a leaven, heresies, Sadducees, doctrine. We have to throw it away. Take the unleavened, that is, living bread, that is a grammar that comes from Christos Jesus. Let's go to the next word. Yes. Oh, okay. I, I, I see. It says all flesh and first two neglect. All flesh is as grass and all the glory of man as the flower of the grass. The grass wither and its flower falls away. Yeah, yeah it means mm -hmm. it could die. Yes. Okay. Yes. But which one is forever? The word of For the God. Lord. Okay. Those physical relationships. This is my brother, this is my sister, this is my mother. And those are as grass. Those relationship is like a grass. The grass wither, that relationship withers. And that flower, the glory of my family, physical glory, that will be forced away. Unless our physical relationship turn into spiritual relationship, then how can we turn into spiritual relationship. Each one of us has to born through Rema to become perfect man. Unity, the faith and knowledge. So we don't we do not toss fro and to <laughs> trickery of men's okay those doctrine of Pharisees and Sadducees so Bible is all connected with each other. Okay. Uh, let's go to the next word. Wallowing, wallowing. Q. Li. S. Ma. Curisma. Okay. Curisma. Curisma. Kurisma show uh, 2 Peter 2.22. Let's go 2 Peter 2.22. Uh, let's start from 20. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they are again entangled in them and overcome. The latter end is worse, them, worse for them than the beginning. 
for it would have been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness than having known it, to turn from the holy commandment delivered to them. But it has happened to them, according to the true proverb, a dog returned to his own vomit, and a soul have washed to her wallowing in the mire. Wallowing here, right? Kulisma. 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 So, as we just read here, escape the pollution of the world, right? Escape the pollution of the world. So, what is the pollution of the world? Man's tradition, man's doctrine, man's lesson. Through the knowledge of the Lord and Savior, right? Which is the way of righteousness, he says that later, right? And then, once they escaped, you never turn back, right? You have to become what? Ship, probaton, right? Keep moving forward. Once you learn, understand the knowledge of God, right? Then the world will be shaken on you, right? Until you become a perfect man, right? Mm -hmm. So then, possible is turn back. Who did it? Mm -hmm. Judah. Judah Iscariot did. Christos Jesus chose 12, and then one is disqualified eventually. So he's become like a what? Dog. Dog. Look at verse 21. For it would have been better for them not to have known the way of righteousness. So Christos Jesus talked to him, you, you'd rather not to be born, right? You better not to learn Bible, Greek, and Hebrew. Because you learn and you know the way to become righteousness, but you turn back. Having known it to turn from the holy commandment delivered to them. That's why 22 says, Dog returned to his own vomit. And a soul, having washed to her wallowing in the mire. So which is, you got to become a sheep attitude, but you just turn back, right? So then why, why, you, why you want to be a children of God then? Once you started it, you have to finish. You have to finish. So that's wallowing here. Kilisma. 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 <coughs> the next one is next word. Q. Q. Re. Os. Curious. 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 Curious means master, but in English translate curious not only master but also Lord. L O R D Lord. 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 Uh, seven twenty one Matthew, let's go there. Matthew seven twenty one. And start from the uh, 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 let's start from 18 a good tree cannot bear bad fruit nor can a bad tree bear good fruit every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire therefore by their fruit you will know them 21 not everyone who say to me Lord Lord shall enter the kingdom of heaven but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. So, Lord, Lord, right? Lord, Lord says, curious, 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 right? Curious, curious. Lord, 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 Lord. 22, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, same thing, right? Curious, curious, Lord, Lord, right? Curious, curious, Lord, Lord. Have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice 
lawlessness. Therefore, whoever hears these saying of mine does them, I will liken him to a wise man who built his house on the rock. And the rain descended, the flood came, and the wind blow and beat on the house. So wind is what? Trickery of man, right? Man's doctrine, right? It did not fall, for it was founded on the rock. Rock is what? Christos Jesus. Rock is Christ, right? Corinthians say that. But everyone who hears this saying of mine does not do them, will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain descended, the flood came, the wind blow and beat on that house, and it fell, and great was his fall. So that reminds us Matthew chapter 25 again. Five wise virgin, five foolish virgin. They all say what? Lord, Lord, Lord. They believe the Lord. They believe God. They are waiting for the Christos Jesus. Both of five virgin waiting for the Christos Jesus. Five foolish virgin waiting for the Christos Jesus. Same thing here. Lord, Lord, Lord. Whoever calls name of the Lord, they are waiting for the Lord, right? Which, which means they wants to enter through the ship's door to meet Christos Jesus on the sixth day. So that's the curious master, which means also the Lord. Okay, next week we are going to start the next line, Lambda Ypsilon which pronounces as Lui. Lui.